Dr. Prasco, can you explain what's going on here? Uh, absolutely. So the blue particles are um, these are the the glucose in the in the cells in the sorry in the blood, and these um, pink and purple um, uh, things are these are the channels, the way that the insulin goes into the um, into the blood in, sorry into the cell. And um, in type one diabetes, you see there's only one little insulin particle here, so there's a, a relative deficiency in insulin. So your body is really not able to absorb the sugar that's in the bloodstream. So if someone doesn't have diabetes, someone didn't show this, uh, they would have more of the yellow? Is that how Correct, yeah, okay. they would have more of the yellow in response to the, the blue, which is the glucose. So you would have these yellow ones on all of the pink so that your, your cells can absorb the glucose. Okay, so now let's take a look at what it would look like with type two diabetes. With type one, the body doesn't make enough insulin. Now, what happens with type two diabetes? Yeah, so type two diabetes actually is the opposite, where you're, you become insulin deficient, uh, sorry, insulin resistant. And so what happens is there's a lot of glucose around, there's a lot of blue, and you see there's actually a lot of insulin, but your body just becomes deficient. Um, becomes resistant to it. Right. So you can't, even though there's a lot around, it just won't work to bring the um, glucose into the cells. Okay. So now that we have some background on what diabetes is, let's go through the symptoms you may feel with this condition. Doctor, explain some of these symptoms for us, starting with increased thirst, which seems to be a popular one if if you may have diabetes, is this true? Yes, absolutely. So increased thirst is, um, we see it because what happens when your sugars are very high, you end up, try, your body tries to compensate by excreting the extra sugar in the urine. So you end up urinating uh, very frequently. And because you're, um, you're using the restroom so much, your body becomes very thirsty to try to maintain the water balance. And so that's why you can get both increased thirst as well as increased urination. Now extreme hunger, fatigue, explain those for us. Sure, the, the hunger, and that's just, again, in response to your body not right. having, not being able to use the glucose. Even though there's a lot around, your body just doesn't, it doesn't know it because your cells can't use it. So that's why you get very hungry um, because your body is trying to tell you that you need sugar, even though it is around, you just can't use right. it. And the fatigue is just because, again, the, the glucose is a fuel for your body. And so if you don't have enough, if your cells aren't able to use the glucose that's around, you become very tired. And irrit irritability and slow healing sores, also some common symptoms of diabetes as yes, well. Yes, absolutely.